morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. Thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you for watching our videos. You are amazing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know what? Don't remain on that mistake. Don't dwell on your past. One of the things the devil loves is for you, someone to fall and to even remain there. Micah chapter 7 verse 8 says, He rejoice not against me, O oh my enemies, when I fall, I shall arise. When I'm in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. You know what? God is about to do a new thing. Allow God to do that new thing in your life. Don't dwell on the past. Don't remain. Arise, arise and on. Arise and shine in the name of Jesus. Forget about the old things. God is about to do a new thing in our life, in your life. Don't feel you can't do it. Don't feel you are too small for it. Don't feel it's too big for you. You know, God is interested in you. He wants to help you. When God called Moses, he was his Tamara. When God called David, when God anointed him, he was his servant. God is interested in people they have forgotten. God is interested in you when you are not capable. When you know you can't do it, when you are ready to surrender to him. He said in Psalm 118 verse 20, he said, The stone which the builder refused is become the head of the corner. Don't look down your, on your step. You are so special. God still has a lot to do with your life. God still has some wonders to do with your life. Don't never abort the plan of God for your life. Never abort that glorious destiny. God will visit you in the name of Jesus. God will help you in the name of Jesus. For somebody watching me, I decree abundance into your life. I pray for speed upon your life, upon your endeavors in the name of Jesus. That thing that you are doing, you feel is slow. God will surprise you. God will bring rain of blessing, rain of abundance in the name of Jesus. God will do beyond your expectation in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Are you watching? You want to say yes, Lord. You want to give your life to Christ or you are, you are still living in sin. Please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. If you see that prayer, Jenny, congratulations. You are now a born again Christian. I want to continue to love the Lord. Continue to follow him. Continue to do his will. And share with you. You know what? I love you so much. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Yeah.